Okay, friends, time for our lesson on the bass clef, which means for us in piano, the left hand. Well, how do we know the difference? On this song, Mary Had a Little Lamb, we have this long J with a little D and a big swirling C. That's our treble clef, and that's telling us, oh, for piano people, that means I'm going to play that with my right hand. So how do we know the difference? Well, we have one of those things. Looks a little bit like an ear. It's got these little dots. That is the bass clef. The difference between treble clef, right hand, bass clef, oh, bass clef means left hand. So we see this song. This song is orally, also known as Love Me Tender. And as we can see, the entire song, all eight measures, is played only with the left hand. So how do we know where the measures are and how to count them? Well, each of these little lines going down this way, not horizontal, they're the vertical lines. We've got one, two, three, four. So we've got one, two, three, four measures at the top and one, two, three, four measures at the bottom. In between the bar lines is a measure. And at the end, we have a double bar line and that tells us the song is over. So here's our bass clef. Got a big nose and it looks like a backward C with two dots, that's bass clef. And then we have a four over a four, that's our time signature, telling us there's four beats in each measure. These notes that look like lollipops on a stick, these are quarter notes. So this is one, two, three, four. We have four quarter notes in each measure. That means we have four beats. This measure has two quarter notes. That's one, two. And then it has, it's like this, but it's got a hole in it, like a donut on a stick. So that is a half note. And this note has a hole in it, which means we hold it longer. Ah, so this is one beat, one beat, two beats. So it's one, two, hold. We have to hold it for two beats. That also equals four. There's our four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And this, that looks like an O, looks like a big donut. That is a whole note. See, there's our whole note. That means we hold it for four beats, which means we hold it for the whole measure. So we have to hold it one, two, three, four. So let's count all of this together. We're going to start here on one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hold four, four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, hold. One, two, three, four. Hold four, four beats. End of the song. Okay, so like I said, it's Aura Lee. It's Love Me Tender. If you were wondering how that sounds, that is, of course, Elvis singing Love Me Tender. Okay, Elvis, yes. Okay, so. We know that we're going to be playing this with our left hand, which means we're going to have to hold the melodica with our right hand so that we have our left hand ready to play. Now, we start here on the note C, which means we're going to put our pinky right here on this note. So there's our pinky right there. That means between these two black notes, remember, is a D. So it goes pinky, fourth finger, third finger, second finger, first finger. So we're going to remember, play the notes on the tips of our fingers, okay? So we're not playing like this because guess what? That makes it harder. It's already plenty hard. We don't need to make it harder. So we're going to play on the tips of our fingers. We're going to start here on the C. So we're going to hold this up, I hope, and we're going to go C, F, E, F, G, D, G, F, E, D, E, F, hold it down, 
Okay, so it's going to go pinky two, three, two, one, four, one, two, three, four, three, two. So it's going to sound like this. I'm sure I was singing it in the wrong key because I don't have perfect pitch. Oh, see, I was wrong. 